guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a really long time since I've filmed anything I apologize it's totally on me I wanted to kind of get back into the habit of doing haul videos um, this is what I bought for the month of May. So this is kind of gonna be pretty much everything I've bought so far this month I have a pile of things next to me and I'm just gonna kind of grab and choose I'm gonna start with um, this is from a brand called Osea. It's C Vitamin Boost. It is a toner and you just kind of spritz it. It can be used as a setting spray according to the brand. And I really like the spray because I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's like a nice mist. Definitely kind of have to spray it kind of far, but it like really feels like it perks my skin up. It feels hydrating. So, blah, blah, blah. Boost hydration. It has algae, reservatol, and pomegranate for normal dry and sensitive skin and it smells so good it's organic vegan gluten-free cruelty free it's amazing it's amazing oh my god oh and it's made in the usa and the thing that i love is this is all glass bottling like the packaging is all glass meaning that i can refill this and it's sustainable and i can use this for whatever i needed to use it for i could put setting spray in here whatever so i'm loving it the next thing i got is weird so this is called Boom. So I have two things. I actually was gifted this, but I was get, I bought this. So this is Boom from Lush. Um, it's tooth tabs. So what they are is they're little tabs. I break mine in half because I find a whole tab is way too big for my mouth. I have a little mouth. So this is what a whole tab looks like. And then eh, this is typically what I use. So this is charcoal infused. It smells minty, but it's not like overly minty. I love it. So you put it in your mouth and you bite it a little bit, chew it a little bit, and then you brush as normal. These are better for the environment, as are these. This is from Bite Tooth Labs. My professor actually gave them to me. These are much more pepperminty. These are more subdued. Um, I don't even know how to describe this smell, but I don't know. I kind of like to switch off between them because sometimes I want more of the charcoal grit. Other times I want more of that minty, it depends. Um, another thing I got, on that topic is a bamboo toothbrush that's charcoal infused bristles i love this thing so much it's compostable it's biodegradable um i'm obsessed i'm like really trying this to be as zero waste as i can with as many things as i can so this is one of those things that i'm tempting it with and i'm trying to make these like little changes to see what works what doesn't just so I can try and live a more sustainable lifestyle. I'm obviously not zero waste. I don't know if that's possible for the region of the country that I live, but I am attempting to cut down on my waste as much as I can. Um, so I bought um, at work, I, I bought a bunch of stuff and I got a gift with purchase. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through what I bought and then I'll go through the gift with purchase and then the other miscellaneous things. So I bought a sunscreen. This is unfortunately not reef safe. I cannot find reef safe sunscreen anywhere. So, um, like I said, I got this sunscreen. It's not reef safe, which is unfortunate, but at least, you know, I'm going, I'm supposed to go hiking next week and all of my sunscreen is expired. So I needed to get some new stuff for the hike because we're probably gonna be out for a while. Um, the other thing I bought, this is the love of my life. This is my everything. This right here. This is Siesta Serum by a company called Jan Marini. I don't want to use it because it was outrageously expensive. It was $110. It smells so good. So there's actually a little in the cap. It smells so freaking good. And it's super liquidy and it just goes, sinks right into the skin. It has um, DMAE in it which actually helps kind of lift the skin and the jawline and it gives such a nice glow. I love it. I've sold so many of these. I am so obsessed with it. So obsessed with it. Um, some other things that I bought were, I bought three. I meant to only grab two, but I grabbed three. Three after sun sheet masks. They have aloe vera in them. Again, I'm gonna be going out hiking. I'm going. I'm attempting to not get sunburned by bringing the sunscreen, but in the case I do, this is aloe vera, so it can help prevent any serious damage. Because earlier this month, I already got sunburned. It was the one day I didn't put sunscreen on before I left my house. 
of course, and I ended up talking with somebody out in the outside for like three hours without sunscreen on, and so I came home and I was bright red. So, got these. And then what was in the uh, kit that my job gave me, um, it wasn't really a kit, it was a gift with purchase. Um, comes the transformation face cream from a brand called Jan Marini. It is a moisturizer. So you, this is such a small little thing. So it is a light moisturizer. It is for aging skin. Let's see what's in it, what's in it, what's in it. Aloe vera, dimethicone, soybean. I know it's supposed to increase cell turnover. It is super tiny. Look at this tiny little thing. So I, is it, this is a new brand we got at work. I'm still not fully versed in the line. Let's see what the card says. Let's see what the card says. It comes with a card. Uh, it just gives me the ingredients on it. Yeah, that's fine. It's, I know that the, this entire line though is brightening and anti-aging, which is pretty cool. Most of the stuff has azelaic and salicylic acid in it. I just don't quite remember what this one has. Um, I can't undo this, so I can't even test it to let you know. I cannot undo this right now. I'm going to need to use, like, tweezers. So, the next thing is the C&E Strength from PCA. This, I love this so much. So, if you didn't know, vitamin C actually boosts your sunscreen. So, if you wear it in serum form underneath your sunscreen, it is so amazing. And this, I love this. I use this. I think I've had this. I mean, I know I have it right now, like... I've been using it these past couple of days because um, I have another sample that I got a while ago that I started using again. But this is also, it's a serum. It smells exactly like an orange, like if you were to crack open an orange, it's amazing. Love it. Love, love, love. But it feels kind of thick like you're putting on a vitamin C, like the vitamin C capsules and you're putting that on your skin. It's, it's kind of thicker like that. And it's a little bit gritty because it has encapsulated vitamin C. Um, so that way it'll be working continuously throughout the day to help brighten your skin and kind of lighten and tighten. The next thing is the rejuvenating serum. Now this I've had before. Unfortunately, it burned me the last time, but I was told I was using it wrong. So, um, if you have thicker skin, you can use this every single day, but because it increases cell turnover at using an epidermal growth factor, which is fancy schmancy talk for, it makes your skin cells just grow faster um it um actually burned me i was told since i have more sensitive skin to use it every other day every two days um more like i would use an exfoliant just because other i was overusing it and i was like that makes total sense with everything i was experiencing i was like really confused for a while so i got a refreshing gel sunscreen little packet in here. I'm not really a big fan of like the packaging on all of these products just because it's super plasticky and like now that I'm more aware of it, I really hate it. Um, but it's, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'll probably give this to my boyfriend, make him wear it. And then what's this? Dead sea salt, dead sea bath salts with organic rosemary mint. Oh, that's strong. Oh, that's strong. That woke me right up. Um, it smells good, though. Ah! Ah! It smells good, though. I like it. Um, I just don't really take baths often, so I don't know how much I'm gonna use that. Might have to give that to my boyfriend's little sister, just because she tends to take baths more than me. Mm. Um, the next thing is Wish. Powerful Effective Naturals, Right Smoke and Rose, Hand Remedy, Skin Brightening, Soothing Relief. I actually know something that this would be really good for. I just want this one. I mean, although I might just get this like my aunt. Because I know that they, my, my aunt and my mom worry about like spots on the back of their hand. It's not something I think I'm really going to use. So another thing is again another After Sun Biocellulose Mask. Because I don't have enough of those. And then, oh, okay, so this is a lip balm. This is an exfoliating lip uh, scrub, which I've actually used and loved. 
and this is a hydrating lip mask which I believe yeah which you use overnight uh, I've used all three of these I like all three of them I don't know how I'm gonna necessarily save these because I threw out all well I didn't throw them out I no longer carry um, like have any Ziploc bags so I don't know how I'm gonna be able to save these but we'll figure it out we always do Rachel is resourceful I'll probably just use like bobby fins or something um, another thing I got is the Sheer Tint Broad Spectrum SPF from PCA Skin. This I can't use. This oxidizes on me so badly, like so badly. Um, if I remember from the last time I wore it, after like a couple hours I was orange. And I'm not a fan of this. My mom doesn't like this. I'll probably give it to like my aunt or my boyfriend or someone with darker skin tone because I think my mother and I are both way too pale to use this. I think I need... We need a little bit more color in our skin. And then the last thing that came in this gift for purchase is this hydrating floral biocellulose sheet mask. This soothing limited edition mask with azulene and tea tree extracts it promotes hydration and adheres to your face like a second skin. Every curve and contour of your face continually soaks in serum, resulting in maximum absorption. So azulene is typically common. Tea tree isn't usually used for acne, so I'm a little intrigued to see how they balance that out. I normally cannot use these types of things because they burn my skin. I just have a really sensitive skin to these. I don't know if it's like, I have not been able to use a sheet mask in years. Um, I'm hoping with the uh, after sun because it has the aloe in it, it'll be fine since it's really meant to calm. So I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with that. I'm just concerned about this. I might have to give this to my mom. So the rest of the stuff is stuff that I bought. That was just the gift with purchase. So I got, and I am, I, I love this. So I bought a surgical mask. I use these at work if my I have a sick client and uh, they really want a facial or whatever. I'll just throw on a, a surgical mask. I'll also throw on a surgical mask if they have really bad acne. And I think if I'm doing extraction, something might squirt. I just love this. So this is what it looks like. I think it's cute as heck. And I'm really not using it for its intended purpose. This is, uh, it's an anti-pollution mask as they call it. I just love it so much. I love this so much. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's so pretty. Next thing I got is Osea White Algae Mask, which is anti-aging. You can use this overnight, so I'm probably gonna use it overnight. I'm gonna probably do like uh, my nighttime skincare routine video. And then I'll probably do a video just reviewing this, seeing how I feel about it, um, using it all over my face overnight. Um, yeah. Mm. And then I got, this was a free gift from work. It's Age Intervention Eye Cream. I actually need new eye cream. I'm really running low on mine. So this is from the brand Jane Marini. There was another thing in my gift with purchase. I ended up already giving it to my mom. It's the, so this is it. It is an Obagi product, and it is, I'm just gonna dab this on. Um, it's an Obagi pro, pro, product, it's their moisturizer called Hydrate. My mother really needed a moisturizer, I was asking me for one, so as soon as I just got it, I just grabbed it and gave it to her. Um, the next two things that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, I'm super, super, super excited about. So I bought from Lush, mm -hmm. A conditioner bar and a shampoo bar and I kind of just want to show you them uh, I've been using them as you can see this is daddy -O, the hair conditioner and then this is the shampoo bar Jason in the argon oil I kind of ended up breaking it up I actually got it wet accidentally and it stuck in there and so I ended up breaking it up and this, this smells like they both kind of smell like flowers daddy -O kind of also smells like Kind of like grape i don't even know how to describe it like grape medicine but like better and it has been working really really well for my hair like you can't really tell right now because i'm about four days out of a wash but i'm about four days out of a wash so my hair typically gets pretty pretty oily pretty quickly and i have to wash my hair every other day um since i've been washing it a lot less 
it still feels clean and it's still I can still smell the conditioner if I you know which is awesome I think I might be using too much though I love it I really do and no plastic it's these products come with no packaging so it's awesome saving the environment little things and then I have this guy so I don't know how to pronounce that super French but it is a rose quartz roller so you kind of just use them to just kind of buff product in so I use this tiny little side to just kind of bring into my eye area and just kind of roll around here and on my nose for products and then I use the big side and I just do this and I can do this all day so then I have another thing in here it's called a gua sha this is what it looks like and I like to use it on myself right under the jawline because it like there's calcium buildup and you can feel the calcium buildup and then I'll use it on clients underneath the eye to kind of pat in their eye cream and do a little eye massage with it, it feels really awesome this also um, I'll use it to kind of like move skin up and like work with the skin a little bit more in depth than I typically would um, I don't really anti-aging facial for one of the jobs that I'm at um, I have two jobs now <laughs> so I'm a crazy person so that's what I've been doing and all my clients seem to love it so I'm gonna probably keep doing it so that's all I have for now um, I'll probably check in in like a week and just we'll see what more I have